Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new legs video. And in the last video, we finally scraped together all the points needed to unlock the tier seven relic. And I gave a very good explanation as to why I didn't pick the other two, but ultimately it just comes from my gut feeling. Soul Stealer is something that just sounds amazing for my personal playstyle. But once again, there are no wrong picks for tier seven. The Weapon Master would be amazing. Berserker would be absolutely amazing for the damage dealt as well however I decided for the soul stealer and in this video we're gonna be testing it out we're gonna do all sorts of PVM because right now the game begins there's so many points we need 9,000 to even consider unlocking tier 8 so there's gonna be a ton of things we will need to do so I guess it is time to start and actually do them now funnily enough the first thing I'm actually gonna decide to do today is AFK and get myself 70 strength that is going to be needed for us to enter the bandos room and I have my melee void with steel boots very questionable gear no fire cape because I sacrificed it no infernal cape because I haven't decided to do it yet but I'm just gonna be slapping this crabs and as you can see my HP is going up my prayer is going up but this is obviously not my main damage style but also I can't hit zeros anymore so XP training should be pretty fast not only is this place super AFK this place also drops a lot of unidentified fossils which I can then later on use to get my agility to 70 so we could treat this little training session as a full preparation to kill every single God Wars boss. But in order for us to do that, we need 70 strength, 70 agility, 70 HP. So we already got one out of the way. And by us doing these crabs, we're basically doing both of these at once. So pretty solid. And I really enjoy this place. I'll probably be here quite a lot. Decided to clean my fossils and we got some antique lamps and you guys already know the drill We need 70 agility after that. I'm not gonna bother. There's a lot of agility tasks perfectly calculated this We now have 70 agility This is our access to Ziliana and this is our access to armadil crossbow and we now got 70 strength Which is our access for bandos. I do need to afk a little bit longer So I'm gonna get my attack to 70 as well Which is going to be our access to wield a Saradomin sword which is also one of the tasks. So I'm kind of just doing absolutely everything I can right now to prepare for our PVM grind that's coming very, very soon. I've been doing a little bit of zealing. Uh, we got Mr. Nomad over here. I just want to make sure I cap my prayer XP per day. So how many can I use? I have 900 tokens, which I think is a lot. Can I use like 600? This will be like over a million prayer XP. So what will happen? I still have 715 zeals. I can't use any more. Okay, so it didn't use much zeal at all, but we are up to 86 prayer. That's probably because I used some XP earlier. Uh, there we go. We're, we'll do this every day, but I'm kind of tempted to use a little bit of it on rewards. I think I need around 500 to cap for the day, and I plan on doing a few more runs easily. So how about we buy... I say we buy 15 more Spoils of War, and we take a look at how much we get from this one. More essence, more essence, that's amazing. That's basically 99 room crafting in like a speedrun session. Hey, look at these boys. Adamant bolts, ruby bolts, diamond bolts. I think I'm sorted for life here uh, with the amount of uh, bolts that I just received. This is really, really good. I'm very happy with this. Let's do a few more runs. And honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of using all my essence. I got 15, 16,000 of it, and uh, that's really fast XP. Our very first Ziliana kill, let's take a look. So I'm not sure if I should like run or like how to do this. Or if I should just straight up like just do, like just tank her. I'm gonna try to just tank her. That's what we're gonna do. Just tank, TP, come back basically. There's another frozen piece. Okay, we try it again. Just tanking her with melee basically. Full on lazy gameplay, which is basically one of the reasons why I went the relics I went. Because I wanted to play like this. Because this is. Th you can only do this in leagues. Look at this. It is an absolute movie out here. And obviously, I'm running Metabolize as well, so every now and then I'll need to eat a bit of food, but it should be very simple to do this for a very long time. Unironically, this is an insanely good drop. Magic Seed is like. It is really good. Is gonna be some nice training for us. Got the starlight as well, and now we kill Ziliana. Just like that. And that should be 
a Grandmaster task. Yep, very good. There it is, the first drop, Sada Sword. We can uh, wear it. And it's a task for sure. It's a beautiful sword, man. It wasn't even highlighted. How cheap are these these days? Yeah, this is going to be my weapon to train strength with, most likely. I'm also going to, at some point when I'm AFK, and go for a dragon defender with this thing just for points. But yeah, we're just gonna put this on strength. And whenever I'm AFK in crabs, it's probably gonna be with this sword from now on. Oi, 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 diamond bolts going crazy then. Apparently, we got a Sada's Light as well. I don't know if there's a task surrounding this thing, but there's a second unique in 14 kill count. And now the last one that we really need is uh, a very rare one. Well, we still need the God Sword as well, so we need two more. I'm gonna check if there's any tasks regarding this. At least when we're gonna do Zami, it's gonna be nice and light. Second Sada Sword. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of those. There's another Sada Light. So we're now two for two. Well, two Sada Lights, two Sada Swords. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got a God Sword Shard 3, which actually completes my sword. This is huge. I got God Sword Shard 1, 2, and 3, meaning that I can basically just swap the blades around if I get it and complete all the tasks. So this is really good drop, actually. So all we need now are just God Sword blades from all the God Wars, and uh, we are sorted. Oh, no way. Vorkaf said, first kill, by the way. I mean, first kill back, 26 kill count. There we go, we can go make our assembler. That's basically why we were here for. I did want to do a couple of challenges, and it is quite nice with a sustained relic. Uh, but that's amazing. Let's go Let's go make this straight away. Ava's assembler. There it is. I guess it's already on my back. I need to do it like that. There we go. 80 pointer, but most importantly, very, very useful for us. And I guess now, it doesn't really make sense to do more Vorkath until we're beast out, until we have full Arma and ACB. So maybe even full Mazori before I even return. So because of that, I guess it is time to return to Ziliana to try and farm ourselves an ACB. It's going to be a bit of a grind, but let's get it. Wait, I just got 99 range. I didn't even know it was coming. How much points? I don't even know. Dude, what if I get 99 range and then we top it off with an ACB? After 99 range, we get nothing. And that is 100 kills. It is now getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna start speaking a little bit more quietly. But I haven't seen a drop in a while, and obviously the ACB is 1 in 127, so we're not really even on the drop rate yet for that. Running out of food, but we keep on going. Ah, there goes the broken try streak, but it's for another Saradomen sword. Low on food, so I will most likely go and purchase a bunch more. There is another Sara sword, number four, I think. I alked the others, because they alk for like 160k, but still no ACB to show for it. There we go, a little bit of late night chill skilling later. And we got ourselves 90 crafting, which is what we need for Onyx amulets. And as you guys know, we actually do have Onyx already available for this exact moment. We're just gonna take gold bar and amulet mold and we can make it. However, I don't have the magic level yet. So I'll have to level this up a bit before I can actually wear the fury. Uh, but we can make it and claim some points in the process. There it is. Onyx amulet. 200. Elite task. And now this will go right here when I can use it. Here comes another God Sword Shard 3. Decided to return and do a bit more PvE. Ah, yes. The Sara Light into Sara Sword into Sara Light into Sara Sword combo into Sara Light again. 137. We have not been lucky in God Wars, so let's just uh, grind it out. Yeah. It's only fitting that we get a Sada Sword after a Sada Light. We are currently five Sada Swords, four Sada Lights. No sign of ACB, no sign of Sada Hilt. The Sada Sword is taking the lead, six to four, crazy. Yo, this is happening right now. Sada Sword number seven. If you guys do not know, the drop chance for an ACB is one in 127, and I believe for the Sara Hilt as well. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. <gasps> okay, it's not what I needed, but it's good. There it is, man. Good. Finally, a rare drop that we actually get. 
162. That leaves us with ACB last drop yet again. I can actually make this, but I don't have smithing, but that's going to be a reason to train smithing. Well, there it is, 200 KC, almost at a drop chance for two of them at this point, and still nothing. This is the collection log so far, 200 KC, everything obtained aside from pet and... ACB and the thing is this is the most important drop for my account because I'm range base and it would just help us big time So right now it's getting very late. I'm going to chill I'm gonna go probably do some fishing until the morning and we're gonna go again It is a brand new day. We're entering at the warriors guild. No particular reason is just very early I want something chill to do. I'm gonna get myself a dragon defender very quickly And again, I don't think it's an important thing at all It's gonna give me a little bit of points, but I'm also not prioritizing points right now I'm going to try to find the best balance that I can between Actually still going for points because I do want to unlock tier 8 in like somewhat reasonable time and between just PVMing and farming like really good gear. So that's like my plans and uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Wait a second, I killed one of these and I got 400 warrior guild tokens. This is actually boosted. What? Okay. Now, I was a good boy and I farmed a lot of zeal yesterday. I have almost 3000 and the main reason for that is so I can gain this XP every single reset. I'm just gonna guess about... Uh, let me just try like 500. I, I'm really bad at math, I don't really like doing it, but... Prayer XP... That was 999,000. So basically that's the exact amount of zeal you need for the daily reset. Uh, that's the prayer level, that's literally why I did this. So we now also unlock Cruor's Vow. This is useless for me. Attacks reduce your opponent's defense. But can I pray this with, let's say, my aggressive melee? Where's my melee bonus? Oh, there we go. Attack and strength by 25%. So I can pray this and my attacks reducing the defense. And let's say melee and let's say metabolize. Also my attacks can inflict poison, so I can pick one of these, or defeating an opponent will drain my prayer points but give me hit points. So I can pick between those. Interesting, so I can play like this, for example, when I'm PvEing, and with my relic of preserving prayer and HP, I should be able to sustain it. Bronze Defender on the very first kill count. Okay, this might be really fast with my uh, 4x uh, rate. Okay, yeah, this is, I guess, like, ridiculously fast. What is going on? Literally, next kill, Iron Defender. Okay, we'll speedrun through this. Okay, still Defender, three more KC after that, or maybe four. Okay, Black Defender. We're currently 13 Cyclops in, and we got a Black Defender. That is Mithril Defender. Adamant Defender in 34 KC. Alright, and just like that, Rune Defender obtained, took me 40 Cyclops. I think it took me less than 30 minutes to get to this part. Uh, now, very quickly, we're getting Dragon Defender, and then we are out of here. Hey, and there it is, 16 kills later. We now have a Dragon Defender, we're gonna wield it. Should be a task. In the process, we also got to 100 combat, so that was a task. So now I've woken up enough to the point where I think I could go back to God Wars and try to get the ACB. But I guess before I go, I have almost 8,000 Karamb ones. My cooking level isn't that high. Let's just go cook a few of those instead of always going to the store and buying more. Okay, well, uh, I did this for a little bit longer than I anticipated. But we now have about 1,000 Karamb ones and 90 cooking to show for it. Very nice. Well, would you look at that, another God Sword Shard 2 on the very first kill back. Starting on 202kc, let's see if we can pull ACB anytime soon. Ah, Sara Light trying to get back into the battle of the Sara's Light versus Sara Swords, man. It's what's going on right now. Uh, 208 kill count. I forgot to record it, Sara Sword is coming back. We are currently on 8 Sara Swords and 5 Sara Lights. We're playing a Sara Sword versus Sara Light minigame at the moment and... Uh, yeah, we'll see which one we end up getting more of. Ain't no way I got the Sara Light right back to back. That's crazy, by the way. Look at my chat right now. So we got Sara's Light here, Sara Sword here, Clue Scroll, and then here, uh, another Sara Light. There's no way I got another Sara Sword. I'm just gonna start alking this, by the way. 216 KC. Another Sara Sword, I guess. Oh, back to back Sara Swords. Well, I guess uh, more alks coming through. 
Man, I really wish there were tasks where it would count for like high KC. There's only task for 100 kill count and to be quite honest, you get that super fast in God Wars. I feel like there should be tasks for like, I don't know, 250 and 500 as well. Because otherwise when you get the dry like this for the item that you need, yeah, not the best feeling to just constantly kill the boss that takes like pretty much hour let's say i get about 60 kills an hour maybe 50 kills an hour and then you don't get rewarded for it so it takes a lot of time and you get nothing in return right so i wish we had a higher kill count tasks for god wars yeah there's another sort of sword two four eight kill count wait there is a task wait a second defeat any god wars dungeon boss 250 times okay so one of them is a task Maybe there's one for 500 as well then. Yeah, there is one to defeat one 500 times as well. Well, hopefully I don't get to that on this one. That would kind of suck because this is like the most important one. But okay, I did not know. I did a bad research. Another Saradomen's Light. Man, I'm just, I can't get it, can I? Oh my god, we just pulled the Rune Sword, which is like giga rare as well, by the way. We got 13. 13 Sara Swords. I made like 1.4 million Alking Sara Swords. It's another God Sword chart. Oh my, we're done. Hey, there it is. There it is. Look at it. It's beautiful, though. No? Oh my, look at it. It's fucking amazing. I love it. 302 kill count. We were basically good to get two of them. Dude, we take those. But now we need to do like things. We need to train like fletching to 84 to put dragon bolts on. We need to train smithing to 75, I think, yeah, 75 to get our AGS on and stuff like that. So this is so sick though. I'm so happy we got it. All I had to do was turn the stream on and we got it. Beautiful, beautiful. You may be wondering how I will train my fletching. The answer is simple. We're just gonna make broad bolts. I made a 2.5 million just doing Ziliana, Alking, Sara Swords and whatever it is. Uh, but let's just quickly test, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna be running around the game making broad bolts, basically. That's what we're gonna do. Let's try to have a nice smooth kill here. So we go, we go boom. We shoot him like twice. So he can slap quite hard. This hit is the slap one. But most of the time we should be okay. So when he slaps, we run under and we are ready to eat. But most of the time, if it goes like this, it's a nice smooth kill. Boys, first drop, Bando's boots. Two tasks immediately completed. We take those. Only took us 10 kill count. Since we already got the drop, we already got one item. I can return to Bandos in the future. But most importantly, I do want to get at least one KC of Zami. So I can create the key for next. So I'm going to call it a day for just Bandos right now. And uh, we'll do some Zami. Maybe I'll do a lot of Zami. Maybe just a little bit of Zami. But one thing's for sure, Bandos is pretty annoying with 70 defense. And I don't really need to be doing it right now. There's like, it doesn't really give me any benefits. Yeah, I think this will be kind of chill. But we got the last frozen key piece. Let me just go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this boss, by the way. And I'll be saving this as well. There it is. First drop from the Zami. KC35, Zamorak Spear. If I wield it, that's another task. And as I said, lots of tasks. I could go to 35 or, or whatever, but right now we got all the keys. We got everything we wanted. I want to try next. I want to see if I can find a group of people doing next and uh, see if I can infiltrate. But first, I need to buy 30,000 broad bolts and stuff so I can fledge them, so I can get this up to 84. And I'm going to spend like 2 million on that. So it's going to be a bit of a expensive, but happy with the first Zami drop. All right, then here we go. We assembled our frozen key and we're going to open the frozen door. We're also on the next world. So we're going to quickly take a look if there is anybody even doing next at the moment. Uh, but we still need to get 40 kill count. Luckily, I did get these ancient bracers off of one of the clues. Boys, we're in. What do I pray? What do I pray? Is it mage? I don't fucking know. Don't tell me I'll be tanking because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Cough. I'm coughing. Wait, my stats are draining. What am I doing wrong? Help. That's range, apparently. I'm just copying others. Wait, is that it? Did I actually... There we go. First next KC. What do we get? Bruise. Dude, that's huge, man. Let's go. And restores. Wait, I can actually use some restores, not gonna lie. What I do know... Oh, I'm coughing. Sorry, brother. But I wanna... <laughs> Everyone coughing. <laughs> Lol. Fuck. <laughs> Stop coughing on me, bro. 
Get off. Nihil Shard. I don't know what a Nihil Shard is, but we got Nihil Shard. I feel like this is common. We got some air orbs too. Okay, I need more restores if I want to do this because my stats get drained to Narnia low. And then I got nothing that I can do with it. Oh, this guy got Zerite Vamps. Oh, that would have been such a good drop, by the way. But we got an achievement, we'll take it. Okay, let's see who gets a drop now. I feel like the drop rate is so increased, somebody always gets something. I got even more drops. Somebody got a Nihil Horn. I don't even know what Nihil Horn is, I'll be honest here. Oh, that's the crossbow. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, good luck, good luck, good luck. Dude, this is fast, though. I like it. I like how fast this is. Perfect next. Another Grandmaster. I guess I didn't make mistakes. And we got rubies, by the way. That's huge. Nihil sharded. Oh, fuck. Okay, we got some super restores, though. We'll take it. Dude, this fat, greasy guy gets every MVP, bro. That's the first MVP I got, I think. Because I got big bones, right? You were the MVP for this fight. So this could have been something. In a mass, hey, we'll take it. That means we, we are doing something right. If we can get an MVP in that amount of people. So not bad, not bad. Oh my god, back-to-back -back MVP. We take those. Okay, so Nex was fun. We ended up getting 20 kill count for now. I will be returning to Nex probably when I have like a close to full base gear is what I'm thinking. Or at least the Dragon Bolts. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty chill. It's pretty like I enjoy it. Uh, but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some relaxing Slayer. And at the same time Fletch very unrelaxingly. So I can finally get that up to 84 to make myself Dragon Bolts. <laughs> All right, that's 50 kill count on the good old Krill, and we're getting very decent Slayer XP uh, whilst doing this. So we would have done this regardless, so it's actually really good that I am on a task. And throughout this whole time, I have a little challenge where I basically just do fletching in between the kills. So 12,000 left, and we can actually make some Dragon Bolts. Dude, I was waiting for this moment to pull a uh, Cosmic Talisman. There we go, I've been just fletching in the meantime, I'm all the way up to 83 Ladies, gentlemen, we scraped together everything we had. My fingers are numb. But there it is, just with a few more logs, finally. Ah, 84 fletching. And this is a massive increase in damage for our account because we can now start using Dragon Bolts. Now, I don't have a lot of them, but I have enough of them. So as you can see, first we make them. That was not even a task. And then I'm gonna split 80-40 uh, diamond and rubies. So let's go ahead and make those. Uh, rubies, arguably slightly more important because I will also be using them at next. And usually you end up using more rubies in comparison to diamonds. And then I just need to figure out what I need to enchant those. And we are absolutely gaming. Cosmics. Oh yeah, I'm pretty short on Cosmics. But I have a little trick up my sleeve. I'll show you in a sec. Because uh, we finally got a talisman. Let me just grab all the runes. And we're just enchanting everything real quick. Perfect. With the ticks as well. And just like that, we now are a proud owner of Ruby Bolts and the Diamond Bolts, but they are Dragon, so very, very good. So we need Cosmic Runes, right? We need, we need them. Hold them. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is just Cosmics, by the way. This is not even the most XP. I just simply need Cosmics for all the enchanting we're gonna be doing. Do I need this many Cosmics? I don't. Is it satisfying? It is. Oh, this is how I'm gonna end today's video. I'm just gonna do this for dopamine and just talk about it. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Obviously, a lot of PVM in this one. A lot of hours went into just the ACB grind. And obviously, in the next few days, now that we have access to Dragon Bolts as well, the PVM is gonna be even better. And I guess it's gonna be time for us to slowly consider going for the Tier 8 Relics as well. That being said, it was my pleasure to have everybody here on the live stream and on the YouTube video. Thank you very much for making it till the end and see you tomorrow with another upload. Have a good one and goodbye.